Hello Curious! Recently one of the most talked about court cases of the past few years has come to an end as we have found out the verdict. Johnny Depp's libel case against the Sun tabloid was all that anyone spoke about this year as Depp and his ex-wife battled it out in court. Accusations were flying left and right, nasty facts were being revealed as one side tried to make the other look worse. After three weeks of court hearings came the months of waiting to find out what the end will be. Finally, on the morning of Monday 2nd November, the judge announced the verdict. What was the end result? What reasons did the judge give for their decision? What financial impact could this have on the actor? Stay with me to find out what went down, but before we continue, make sure you hit the bell and subscription button so you don't miss any of our videos. The Pirates of the Caribbean star was suing NGN and the executive producer of The Sun, Dan Wooten, due to a column written by him in April 2018, which questioned how JK Rowling can be genuinely happy that in one of her films, referring to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, she has cast a man who abused his wife. The issue here is that in the title, the article did not use words such as alleged or accused. Depp's trial against the newspaper had started on July 7th. The hearings included testimonies from Johnny, his ex-wife Amber Heard, the actor's security team and personal assistant, as well as Heard's sister, friends and acting coach, among others. It went on for three weeks and ended with final statements on July 28th. If you want to know in more detail about what happened during the court case, then be sure to check out our Johnny Depp playlist displayed on the link above. In the end, it was announced that Johnny Depp has lost his high-stakes liable action. The court has refused to award the actor compensation for damage to his reputation that the article has caused. In his ruling, Justice Nichol said that Depp has not succeeded in his action for liable as the defendants, The Sun and New group newspapers have shown that what they had published in the context that was presented to him was substantially true. During those cases, both sides provided evidence that aimed to show proof that one side has hurt the other. When it came to the verdict, Justice Nicol has said that he had found that 12 out of the 14 alleged incidents of domestic abuse did occur. He added that he was not persuaded that an alleged incident that occurred in Los Angeles in 2014 could have constituted as physical assault of Heard by Depp. He also added that he could not rule that a reported incident that took place in November 2015 had been proven because it was not put to Johnny in cross-examination. Mr Depp's lawyer, Jenny Affia, has said in a statement that the decision was perverse as it is bewildering. Speaking with USA Today, she also added, The judgment is so flawed that it would be ridiculous for Mr Depp not to appeal this decision. She also highlighted that to the legal team, most troubling is the judge's reliance on the testimony of Amber Heard and corresponding disregard of the mountain of counter evidence from police officers, medical practitioners, Heard's own former assistant, other unchallenged witnesses and an array of documentary evidence which completely undermined the allegations point by point. Afia also referenced a separate hearing, more on which in a moment, to which she added, in the meantime we hope that in contrast to this case the ongoing liable proceedings in America are equitable, with both parties providing full disclosure rather than one side strategically cherry picking what evidence can and cannot be relied upon, she said. After the ruling was announced, a spokesperson for The Sun has said that The Sun has stood up and campaigned for the victims of domestic abuse for over 20 years. Domestic abuse victims must never be silenced and we thank the judge for his careful consideration and thank Amber Heard for her courage in giving evidence to the court. According to Sky News, the newspaper's legal director had called it a stunning victory for press freedom and that he also added that they were right to refer to Depp the way they had in the published piece. As mentioned before, both Johnny and Amber also have another lawsuit and trial ahead of them, this time in Virginia. That lawsuit filed by the actor claims that Heard was clearly referring to him when she had written an op-ed in the Washington Post in December 2018, where she described the backlash she had faced after speaking out about the abuse. In it, she did not name Depp, but he claims that she defamed him with the implication. According to Courthouse News, after unsuccessful attempts to have the case dismissed, Heard had filed her own counterclaim, which in turn stated that the pirate star had orchestrated a false and defamatory smear campaign, which had accused her of being a liar. The reason for that case being filed in Virginia rather than Los Angeles, where both of the stars reside, is because that is where the post is printed. Heard's US lawyer Elaine Charlson Brederhoft had said that the ruling was not a surprise for those who were present for the London High Court trial. She had also added that soon, referring to the Virginia trial, they will be presenting more evidence as they are committed to obtaining justice for Amber 
member in the U.S. courts as well as defending her own right to free speech. The suit in the U.S. courts was filed by Depp in March 2019, where he demanded $50 million in damages. Heard's defamation counterclaim is asking for $100 million. At the moment, according to Celebrity Net Worth, the actor is worth $200 million, while the actress's is estimated to be $9 million. The trial is set to take place in May 2021 after a Virginia judge has agreed to delay it. Without a doubt curious, this will be just as big of a trial as the London one, if not bigger, given Amber's lawyers claiming they will provide more evidence. Though when it comes to his finances, during the court case when Heard said that one of the incidents took place during her 30th birthday party in 2016 was because he had received some bad news about his money. When Depp was pressed by the court to explain what had happened, he said that at the time he was in the early stages of learning from his new business managers that the old ones had stolen a large sum of money from him. When asked by the court, he revealed that since the Pirates movies 2 and 3 had come out, he had made $650 million, but when he sacked them, he had not only lost that sum, but was $100 million in the hole because the previous managers had not paid his government taxes for 17 years. Could the loss of this case pose any more financial threats to Depp? The judge's decision does however pose a question as to what's next in Depp's career, especially if this will affect his role in the Fantastic Beast films. According to Sky News, a spokesperson for JK Rowling has said that the author will not be commenting on whether he will be involved in the next movie. And I'll just quickly remind you that in the franchise Depp plays one of the main characters, a villain named Geralt Grindelwald. According to the article, the third installment of the saga is currently filming in London. The studio behind the film, Warner Brothers, is yet to issue a comment on this matter. And while many people had petitioned for her to be pulled out from the second Aquaman movie where she plays one of the main roles, it seems it was in vain as according to many news sites related to comic books and fantasy movies, there has been no news about the actress being fired. And the IMDb page for the film still has her listed to play Mira, despite rumours that claimed that Game of Thrones star Amelia Clark would take over the role. While Depp has lost this court case, what about other stars who have their own ongoing suits against tabloids? At the moment, Meghan Markle is suing the publishers of the Mail on Sunday. The suit comes after the paper had printed the extract of a handwritten letter that she had sent to her dad, Thomas Markle. The former Duchess of Sussex claims that it is a misuse of her private information, though as of now she will have to wait a little longer for the case to start as the trial, which was scheduled for January 2021, has been delayed by nine months until autumn next year. According to Deadline, the High Court judge agreed to the delay without any objection from the Mail's publishers after having heard confidential reasons from Meghan's lawyers as to why it was needed. Though Markle's own father, who will testify against his daughter's claims, wants the trial to be done with as soon as possible because according to him, as quoted by The Sun, he could pass away tomorrow. But what about stars who had won their cases against the press? In 2005, Cameron Diaz had sued newsgroup newspapers, the same as Deb, over an article that claimed she was in a romantic relationship with a married man. The actress, who at the time was dating Justin Timberlake, had won the liable case against the publishers who, following an investigation, had admitted that any suggestion of a romantic involvement is entirely untrue and without any substance whatsoever. Another star that had won their case this time against Star Magazine, was Tom Cruise's ex-wife Katie Holmes. Back in 2011, the actress sued the publication after their cover and story had insinuated that she was addicted to illegal substances. The star later issued an apology and stated that they would be making a charitable donation on behalf of Holmes. Her publicist later revealed that the donation was made to Dizzy Feet Foundation, an organization that brings dance and uh, to unprivileged children. The financial terms of the settlement were not disclosed, but Katie had been seeking more than 50 million dollars in damages. So curious, what do you think about the judge's decision? Do you think this will have a negative impact on the lawsuit in America that will take place next year? In your opinion, will Depp's career be impacted even more by all this? Let me know in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and I will see you again in the next video.